All right, everyone. Thank you very much for coming. And thank you, Ms. Ashley, for giving me a proper introduction everyone can see and understand. And welcome to our Full Moon of Peace. Today, we have a special event as usual, which is monthly. Some of us are new, some of us are uh, regular. But all in all, we are welcome everyone who are interested to come and join meditation. Before we're gonna start, I would like to ask everyone too to get yourself ready because we're gonna light the candle after our meditation. In case you have prepared yourself the candle already, you are good to go. But if you don't, well, you can use your mobile phone and flash the candlelight uh, using your flashlight as a candlelight aptitude for that as well. This is something that you can also be part of our special activity tonight, all right? And so if everyone ready today, just gonna light the candle and share some of my experience on a little bit of meditation and what I've been uh, experiencing in Europe so far with you guys. Maybe it could be a good start. And also at this time as well, it is come to the summer, so that's today, Full moon will be full moon of summer, which beginning the summer in our time. However, <clears throat> if you are ready, please make sure I check three things before we start. By one, if you are need to call someone, maybe you can turn it off. Or if you need to call someone early, then go ahead and finish before we start or you start. Second, if you need to use toilet or restroom, now will be the good time. And last but not least, don't forget, check if the room you are meditating is peaceful and quiet, suitable for our inner peace time. Then if you are passing these three requirements, I am sure you are all ready for inner peace time. So let's not waste our time any longer. Let's begin our meditation. And before the end, of our meditation, we're gonna light uh, of after the end of our meditation, we're gonna light the candle. So our MC is gonna be asking you to turn on the camera so we can pass the candle from to each other so that way everyone can be participating on this event as well. So that's let's not waste our time anymore moment. And let's begin our meditation. All right. is sharing my sound. All right. So let us begin our inner peace time, everyone. The sound is okay. All right. So let us begin by finding ourselves sitting in a relaxed, comfortable position without any tension on your body. Then slowly cross your eyes, softly, just like you are about to fall asleep. Scanning your own body. Then adjust. Begin to relax. From the top of your head. Relax down to forehead. Relax your eyebrows, loosen eyelids, no need to use your eyes, then we close them down to disconnect all kinds of distraction that may arise. Relax all the muscles on your face 
down to the neck and shoulder, adjusting your back, your body. Free from all the tension that may arise. Continue to relax both of your arms down to the tips of your hands. Going down further to relax your legs, knees, all the way down to the bottom of your feet completely, making your whole body feeling light and comfortable as we are about to start our journey to inner peace for tonight, the full moon night. Finding yourself the right balance, the feeling of relaxation is a good start an important factor that help you find inner peace. So when you are done adjusting yourself, continue on to adjust the mind. You can smile to yourself opening the path to happiness and joy into the mind. And imagine that you are alone in the place or somewhere in an open space which make you feel calm and peaceful. Where you can see the full moon tonight. Allow yourself and mind to be free from all responsibilities and the matters whether they concern with people, animals, or anything that keep your mind from being free. Then take a deep breath. Slowly breathe, think it down. Bring back the mind as you find yourself, resting your mind inside around your abdomen or at any point that you feel just right to rest and begin your meditation. So resting the mind inside yourself and begin to observe the mind from this point on. Maintain the mind and body in relaxation and mindfulness. Sometimes 
our mind may be wandering outside. But that's all right. It is common for the mind to wandering. We can always bring back our mind by lightly imagine the full moon at the place where we rest our mind, like in the middle of your abdomen. Let the full moon shine inside yourself for tonight, the full moon night, full moon of summer. The new season is beginning. Same thing with the mind that can find its brightness. Observe this full moon inside as you are an observer. Remain calm and peaceful. Observe. Stay still. No need to react. Should there be any thought Recite the mantra in the mind. And the mantra is Sama Araham Sama Araham Sama Araham Continue Recite the mantra in the mind to help you calm down and finding inner peace. Sometimes we may feel we don't need the mantra. Or sometimes we just need to recite the mantra or visualize the full moon. We can choose to do both or do just either one to help we focus and maintain ourselves in stillness. Let us take our time in this moment together, finding ourselves the inner peace until the appropriate time.
stay and still as our mind gradually come to a standstill. Joy and peace would fill in the mind. Allow the mind to be open to love freely. Expanding this feeling to cover your body and share it with others in this room and everyone at your home from yourself to your friends family and everyone that you love sending them your good wish hoping that all to be happy free from all kinds of suffering for those who are already happy may they be happier for those who are suffering may they be happy sharing our love and kindness to everyone and all the beings in this world by expand the mind and feeling like a ripple spread your loving kindness in all directions from yourself to your home your neighbor and neighborhood your hometown your state your country eventually the whole world sharing love and kindness with them all so everyone may experience your inner peace and be happy just like yourself spending last few moment spread our love and kindness before me make a resolution to light the candle together
Ketika di Slowly breathe it down. Maintain the mind inside yourself as you continue on in the balance of mindfulness and relaxation. We are about to end our meditation. I would like to ask everyone to hold on to your candle in front of your chest. In case you don't have one, you can use your mobile iPhone. We are about to make resolution, sharing our loving kindness. Please repeat after me. By the power of the good deeds, that I have done through the practice of meditation, Spread loving kindness and light up the candle. May all of us, along with all beings in this world, be safe and healthy. Be safe and healthy. Peaceful and prosperous. Peaceful and prosperous. And be free of all worries. And be free of all worries. May all may our life be glorious. May our life be glorious. Bright as candlelight. Bright as candlelight. With fulfillment in life. With fulfillment in life. Success in care. Success in care. With all good wishes come true. With all good wishes come true. No matter where we go. No matter where we go. May we be safe. May we be safe. Prosperous and happy. Prosperous and happy. Be warmly welcome. Be warmly welcome. And loved by all beings. Burn low by all beings. May we find the brightness within. May we find the brightness within. And be able to share it with others. And be able to share it with others. And create world peace through inner peace. And the fear yeah. uh, I would like to invite everyone to begin light your candle. You can show this in front of your camera so everyone cannot be part. Uh, now would be the good time to have some music if you can prepare, <laughs> but if you don't, that's all right. Okay. Oh. Light a candle for peace, light a candle for love, light a candle that shines all the way around the world, light a candle for me, light a candle for you, that our wish for world peace will one day come true. Light a candle for peace, now, light a candle for love, I will pass the candle love, to Ashley so you can pass to Arthur's.
I'm passing it to Glenda. That's who I was passing it to. <laughs> light a candle for peace, light a candle for love, light a candle that shines all the way around okay, I'll the pass, world. I'll light pass my candle, candle to Nuna. Me, light a candle for you that I wish for world peace. Light a candle for peace, light a candle for love, light a candle that shines all the way around the world, light a candle for me, light a candle for you, that our wish for world peace will one day come true. pass mine down to Mark. Can pass. I'm gonna pass it to Carol. <laughs> no, you can pass it. Radika passed it to Carol.
Find a candle for you that I wish for world peace will one day come true. Right, is that everyone? Light a candle for peace. Light a candle for love. Is that everyone, right? Is Omiya? Leave the candle on for the moment time being, <laughs> right? <clears throat> As it is, everyone. Now we have come to share our loving kindness and light the candle in our temple. My master believes that well peace can be created through inner peace. Some may not believe, or some may be wondering how and why. The thing about that is, everything starts from our mind. If our mind is be at peace, what we think, what we say, and what we do will come with peace as well. We would not be hurting anyone. We just love everyone like family member. Like our cousin or relatives, whether they are stranger, whether they are never been met before. As for myself, I have one of these experience. I taught this long time ago to some of our lecula, but I think maybe it's good time to brush it off. There was one time when I was still an inexperienced teaching monk. I think that was about my third years or second years as a Buddhist monk. My master, I was so honored that he gave me and trust me with one thing. He said, "Oh well, since you are speaking, or uh, he don't speak to me directly, but pass the message. You can speak English quite well. Please go teach meditation at the Geneva in Switzerland. Imagine just only the first, uh, only the second or third years." Never teach anything much, and we don't even have such technology like this now. Internet are not that powerful like today. I've been there, I fly there, I've been there. Well, but the thing is that I'm still new, and also no name neither, just like now neither. But what happened was that, all right, if you're gonna teach meditation, let's make sure you don't bring anything funny into the UN headquarters. So, just go teach. But we're not gonna come. Just test it on with our wife first. So I got the chance to teach with the wife of the UN representative at Geneva. In case if they're really good, if I'm really good, I will come. That's what they think. So when I went there teach meditation, and on the few days after that, they request for another session. But this time the husband and wife come, just like Mr. Ken and his wife. Come to join the event. So when they come, everyone meditate. Everything goes smoothly, but we don't have candle like like this, you know. So after the meditation, everyone said the same thing in same common voice. They all said, "Why don't we 
have something like this before we start every meeting session in UN. What does this imply? That is implied that if our mind can find freedom, find inner peace, everything will think, everyone will think alike, just like what they have agreed in the UN. No one wants to take advantage of Arthur. Everyone just wants to be at peace, loving everyone just like their family member, like we are today, our even a small community, even though we are not that promote, but at the very least, everyone come with a smile to fight in peace together tonight with the full moon, under the full moon and light the candle. So that I believe too, everyone, we can actually also, just like my master used to say, world peace can be created through inner peace. We too come today to do just that, starting bit by bit. In case if you are enjoy this, I would like to invite everyone to come back again for our next event of Full Moon of Peace, which is going to be on July 13. If nothing changed, it could be 14, depending on the time, but I will let you know ahead of time as well. So I'd like to invite everyone to come join us again. However, before we part today, I'd like to also sharing something of my experience of today. Um, of my experience of the past few weeks that had been absent, hadn't seen anyone. But it does it have relate to our inner peace? Well, yes. The thing about that is one time my teacher, uh, also the wise support of uh, our temple, he taught me that hospitality is also very important so much important that everything in the entire Buddhism is depending on it. I was like, oh, is it really that important hospitality? As myself, in fact, and the staff here in the Zoom room helping assistant, some may show their face, some they don't. But if you have camera, don't mind, don't be shy, please show your face too okay <laughs> what happened was we also did we be, we are the reception at our temple what happened in there is that my master <clears throat> taught this to everyone that do not be overlooked or looking down on hospitality i just thought myself as a work and i just do see everyone smile i'm just happy but today Maybe just because of my good karma, we welcome everyone with my staff giving its fruit. What happened is, yes, this time when I fly to Germany, I don't know anyone, but just only one monk that I intend to visit and also going to visit my one of my students who used to come and join our Zoom some time ago. But now he's busy with his life with, uh, you know, after he graduated and all tried to work. So he had hardly time to come. But what happened to him was that we have a chance to miss it. But my point of visiting in here to see him, yes, and I did see him. But what really surprised me most is when I went there, I don't have any money. I mean, in Euro, in Europe, they have Euro currency, but I live in London, I have pound currency. So when I go over there, I have not uh, exchanged any money yet. But when I arrived at the center, the airport, he came and he said, welcome venerable. Are you come to visit your friends or your student? I said, yes. Well, tomorrow when you go, don't worry about the transportation fee. You can uh, <clears throat> he said, because he's the one that I visit and he can speak German, we can take him with you to help you assisting you along the way. Don't worry about anything. I will cover all the costs. All you have to do is just enjoy and do your own things. And then I went there. Everyone welcomed me so well. Even my uh, student, they took, he took me to his home with his parents 
and also his mom cooking for me as I'm a stranger. I never met him before, but you know, I come and we meditate together. We even do meditation experiment. And that's after I return. Even better is the abbot of that branch where I visit. He said, Venerable, have you been, how long will you stay in here? Well, I can stay only two weeks. Have you been visit Europe before? A long time ago, but not much. I only stay in one place. How about this? Belgium and Netherlands are not far from our place. How about we go visit them? So they took me to go visit Belgium and Netherlands on each respective days. And they even took me to shopping and they covered all the costs. I was like, whoa, this is more than I can bargain for. I only come to visit my student. I didn't even ask for any of this. But yes, my master taught that hospitality is very important. You are going to make enemy or friends depend on this. I never met him. So I even asked him, venerable, even though I never been or meet you before, this is my first time, even if we are at the temple, we hardly talk. How come you treat me so nicely like this? He said, well, in here, we are just like family. That's, you are just my brother. Therefore, I will take care of you as my family. And that's just how it is. And that's, that's the lesson I learned from my life experience now that why hospitality is also important. That's everyone. Not only just important, my master also that this would lead to your inner wisdom. Because to meet someone who is wise, to be someone who is kind enough to share their knowledge to you is not simple. If you treat them poorly with poor hospitality, how can you grow? How can you progress? Thus, if you ever go or have a chance to be hospitality toward anyone, giving hospitality toward anyone, don't forget, this could also allow yourself to earn yourself inner wisdom as well. That's everyone. Today, for our full moon of peace, I hope you enjoy your time coming together, meditate under the full moon. I know that it is quite different on each month because the full moon always change, but never change is our unite, but our unity together here under this full moon to meditate. If our mind are connect, our peace always there with everyone as well. Thank you for coming. And Ashley, I would like to return the floor if, you, if your internet is all right. Okay, maybe you can put the mic closer so everyone yes, can hear, all right? Yes, so I, you did a good I, I job. Fixed, I fixed my audio now. Sorry about that. Yes. You guys know I'm terrible at tech. I'm sorry about that. All fixed. Now. All right. Thank you so much, one P. Um, meditation was was wonderful and i uh, thank you for taking the time to uh share your wisdom and your experiences from your travels and meet your student that is that is really amazing and saw too <laughs> for that and uh um we can just take a second and settle our minds back to the center of peace and just take a second to wish lp loving kindness Bow three times together with me. Bow, bow, bow. And thank you so okay. much for coming. I thank hope you. To see y'all again next month. And sorry about Don't the leave just yet. Let's take photo together. Okay. That's a souvenir. <laughs>